Good morning, my darlings. It's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. As promised, I actually don't have all the bags that I want to show you for this video. Of course, it is the designer bags under $500. I shouldn't even say designer bags, just bags that I love that are under $500. Um, you guys know the Chanel Jumbo is my number one bag, but um, the Chanel price increases just, you know, they just they took me over the edge. I was like, I don't, I don't know, Chanel is for me right now, at least brand new, pre-owned, absolutely. Um, but I just wanted to introduce you to bags that I actually carry in my wardrobe, but that I have in my wardrobe that I carry on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis that are under $500 and they are foxy and fabulous. In South Florida, we are known for brunch life. And so I'm going to say that these are bags, these bags are definitely brunch worthy. So let's get into the first bag. You know what, I really don't have to because you guys took a liking to these bags. <laughs> the Kurt Geiger Rainbow Bag. So you guys know, and if you don't, let me move back a little bit. If you are not familiar with these bags, I will leave a link to both of them. Um, I did two videos, one for the metallic and one for the rainbow bag. I have worn this rainbow bag, as you can see, it's not as like squared up. This is such a good bag guys i thought i loved it when i took it out of the box but let me tell you something in these streets when i'm wearing this bag i am getting compliments like i don't know what people want to know who is it what is it how much was it and when i tell them that it was only 315 dollars you literally people literally go into their phones look for the bag and buy it so i i enjoy this bag of course there are two more colors that i want i want it in green and i want it in black i was thinking about it in black and really you know thinking, do you want to put it this way? I'm not, I'm not good at dupes because I will get the dupe, but still want the original bag. I feel like the black version, I feel like there's no other bag that's better than the Kurt Geiger metallic um, rainbow and the metallic bag. Okay. I don't think that there's a good dupe for this. Probably, maybe kind of probably the Valentino um, rainbow bags that came out a few years ago, but there's no dupe for this bag. There are plenty of dupes for this bag in black. And I told myself if I was not gonna get the Chanel Jumbo, then I was gonna get the YSL dupe or the um, Gucci Marmont dupe. I don't know the names of them. Um, so my thing is if I get the black Kurt Geiger Jumbo XL Kensington, that's the name of the bag, the Kensington bag, will I still want the Saint Laurent bag and or, and or the Gucci Marmont bag that's in the same style? And the answer is yes. And so for that reason, I may not get it in black. I may just go ahead and bite the bullet and save up for the YSL version um, or the Gucci Marmont version. Pre-owned, of course. Well, it doesn't have to be pre-owned. could be outlet. Anyway, these are the first two bags. Let's get into some other bags under $500 in my wardrobe. Okay, hands down, the number one bag that I get the most compliments out of all of my luxury, Gucci, Fendi, uh, 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 YSL, all of my bags, Vuitton, the bag that I get the most compliments on when I wear it out is this Marc Jacobs, oh gosh, what's the name of it? I was like, Dion, please remember the name. Uptown Croc Satchel. I saw this bag, and I will probably have to leave the link in the video. Leave the link. I saw this bag at, um, you guys who have been with me, you remember when I went to the Neiman Marcus fashion show at Gallery of Fort Lauderdale, and we did a whole, I took you through all the handbags that they showed during the fashion show, and I saw this bag, and I looked at it, and I was like, who is this? And when I saw that it was Marc Jacobs, I was like, are you kidding me? I fell in love with the bag, with this bag. They have it, I wanna say they have it in black. I know they have it in white and in red. I don't know why I didn't like the black or did they even have it in black. But when I wear this out, people are, they go crazy. Who is it? They think it's, they think it's Hermes. They really think it's Hermes. And I'm like, mm, no. And this bag, oh gosh, I should have brought the pricing. It was under $500, just know that. It was under $500 and then Neiman Marcus had a sale. I believe I got it for like $250. Um, but this is a Marc Jacobs bag. Now there's Marc Jacobs and then there's Marc by Marc Jacobs. This is a Marc Jacobs bag. And so again, I got it on the Neiman Marcus website. It's the Uptown Croc Satchel. It sold out pretty quickly. And so what I'm looking for, I'm actually, I'm actually looking for the bag on the real, real, um, because 
I just, I want it in red. <laughs> the white gets so many compliments. I want it in the red color. So here is this bag. I wanted to show you another Marc Jacobs bag because again, I get a lot of compliments on this bag. Um, and I got it because it was hot pink and this actually was a dupe for me for a YSL Kate bag, which again, I know, I know that dupes don't work for me. I got this, but I still want a YSL Kate bag, like in yellow or green or some kind of loud color. But I love this bag and I wear it ooh, probably a couple times a month. This is definitely one of my brunch bags. Um, or if I'm going out with the girlfriends in the evening, this again is a Marc Jacobs bag, not Marc by Marc Jacobs. So if you're looking online for it, I don't even know if they have it online. I got this at the outlet and I got it for $150. Um, you can look on eBay maybe, possibly Poshmark maybe, but I haven't seen this on the Marc Jacobs website. Um, maybe we'll do a video and I'll take you to the Marc Jacobs outlet because I feel like <clears throat> they still have this bag and they have the larger one as well. I got this specifically to be a cocktail bag. I didn't get it because I wanted it to be a larger bag, but I got it because I really love the color. And again, I get so many compliments on it. And um, yeah, you, you and not to, not that you buy things for compliments, but you one would think based on social media and everything that's going on, you know, in the fashion world that you need to spend a lot of money to look amazing and you just need amazing style, right? If you have style, you can carry anything off. And so people love this bag. They love this everywhere I go. They love this bag. So yeah, two my Marc Jacobs bags that people absolutely love. All right, let's move to the next brand. All right, so my cutie patootie summer bag. I am just so in love with her. I actually do not wear the crossbody strap and I, I really should, but this is my Tory Burch bag that I got off of the Real Real using my Real Real funds. Um, you guys know that when I thrift, or if you don't know if you're new to my channel, um, when I thrift and I thrift something high end and ultra luxe, I will send it to the Real Real when it sells. Though that item, you know, I'll leave it in there and it'll be like a little mini piggy bank for me. So when I want something luxe, when I want a, a brand new bag or shoes or whatever, I will go ahead and purchase it. So this was purchased out of um, my real world funds. This bag I want to say is definitely under $500 in the store. We of course in South Florida, I want to say that as well. We in South Florida, we have the Dolphin Mall outlet. We have Sawgrass Mills. We have, you know, Neiman's Last Call. We have a Toy Birch outlet. We have YSL outlet, Gucci outlet, Valentino outlet, Prada outlet. And so, you know, bags that you know, our $2,000, $3,000 sometimes can be $500 or less. So I want to preface that as well. This bag, though, is definitely under $500. Um, and Tory Burch is a brand, they can get pretty pricey. Don't let Tory Burch fool you, okay? Tory Burch can get pretty pricey. And so I was really excited about getting this bag because I wanted something yellow for the summer. I still want, like, that Marc Jacobs bag. I want that silhouette in yellow or green. I just feel like I need some, some vibrancy in my closet because although I'm not in Chicago, I do love fall and winter. And so a lot of my wardrobe is fall and winter. So um, yeah, I'm just ramping up and getting more colors. But this bag, one of my faves, and it is under $500. All right, so last but definitely not least is actually one bag, there's one more bag that I want to show you guys or introduce you to that brand, but it hasn't, <laughs> let's just be honest, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm Dion Dean, I am who I am. I am frugal, and so I don't want to pay for the bag out of pocket. I'm going to wait till it pops up on the real real, but it has not popped up on the real real. So I'm probably going to have to shell out my own money, which is fine because it's not that expensive. But like I said, I'm frugal, not cheap. There is a difference. All right, so last but not least, Zach Posen. <clears throat> And um, it's kind of bittersweet to introduce you to this brand because Zach Posen closed shop, I want to say like two years ago. I want to say 2019. Um, and I really enjoyed Zach Posen as a designer. You guys may know him from Project Runway. He was one of the designers. Um, and when he came out with his own line, it was, it, I just, hmm, Zach Zach Posen's a brand was very classic, very beautiful. He just knew, knows, because he's still designing, right? I think he designs for, I want to say he's a creative director for Brooks Brothers. I think that's where he landed. Um, but just very clean lines, just knew how to construct on a woman's frame. Um, that being said, his bags, as far as like durability, structure, um, they're just great bags. I got this bag at... Um, 
the Barney's outlet here in South Florida when they were closing. Isn't this, I mean, I feel like this video was so sad because Zach Posen is no longer, um, the brand, the, 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 yeah, I guess the brand is no longer in operation. He closed shop and Barney's is no longer here, but <laughs> the bags still remain. And so I got this bag off of, again, I, not off of, I got this at um, the Barney's outlet when it was closing. Um, you can find, and the reason why I am including it is because you can find plethora of Zach Posen bags on um, the real real and they go anywhere from as I'm going to show you they go anywhere from like $75 to $200 and they're really good bags look at the construction you know the hardware is amazing I mean it's just they're just really good and so I actually want a few more of this bag I've seen them in tan I haven't seen them any any bright colors but um I've seen it in tan um, I've seen it in black. I saw it in navy blue. They carry, I don't, I think they may have phased out at last call. I'm not sure. But they had a lot of his bags at last call here in South Florida as well. But, I mean, it's just, they're just really good bags. That being said, talking about the real world. So you guys know I'm working on my summer, <laughs> my summer wardrobe. And I actually got two more Z by Zach Posen. I think it's, I don't know if it's the same brand, but I'm uh, not the same brand. I don't know if Z, Z spoke and Zach Posen. I don't know if they're the same. I, they're both Zach Posen. I just don't know. Just like there's Mark Jacobs and Mark by Mark Jacobs. I don't know if Z spoke is the Mark by Mark Jacobs to Zach Posen. Am I confusing you? Anyway, um, this is a Z spoke bag and <laughs> I just love this bag. You guys know that I'm working on my cocktail bags, guys. Come on, ladies. Come on, grown-ups. Come on, adults. We need cocktail bags. We can't take our day bag into the night. And so that Marc Jacobs bag that I showed you, the little pink one, that's a cocktail bag. And so I went looking for cocktail bags and for, I put in like bow bags because I wanted something that was really like, I actually have, let me show you. Is it here? So these, let me, I guess I can show you, right? So these are bags, don't look at this mess, okay? Just don't judge me. So let me show you. So this is a bag that I'm actually selling on um, uh, Shop Dion Dean. This is my bag. I have a thing for big bows, color. You know what I've seen? Like I said, this is what I'm looking for. So this is actually what I'm, one of the bags that I'm selling on D Shop Dion Dean. Um, oh God, I need to get listing. All the shopping and no listing. What am I doing? Um, so I put in bow leather bags because I wanted, you know, these neoprene bags, they're Shop Dion Dean, but trust and believe I ordered enough so that I could wear it. But I wanted like leather for those like really sultry, um, those really sultry looks. And so I put in bow bag leather and this came up. So this just came from the real world. Like I said, it's Z Spoke by Zach Posen. And I don't know, yes, you can tell. Can you tell how good this is? Ooh, look at that. I love like molesting the bag, but I love it. So this is one bag, and I got this. I don't have the price because I'm going to say it was like $75. Yeah, it was not expensive. Well, expensive was relative, right? But it was in relation to how much bags can cost, how much bags leather, how much leather bought bags can cost. You hear the, a the ASMR? Yeah, this is such a good bag, guys. Mm, 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 mm. I think we may be taking a picture with her. <laughs> I think this may be the thumbnail, guys. I think we found the thumbnail picture. We will be taking a picture with this. You know your girl is kind of sort of a hoarder. So I was like, oh, that bag is hot. Let me see if they have it in another color. And they did. They had it in black. <laughs> I had, to, I had to get it. So this is a smaller version. It's not quilted. Um, but again, again, my little cock, oh gosh, which one do I want to wear now? Which one do I want to wear for a picture? Because we're definitely taking a picture. Mm. Mm, okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's open this one up. It's not quilted. Still has a little thing in there because I haven't opened it up yet but again for $75 how how rich does this look let's take this one up again because I think this one let's look at both of them 
Oh, so this one has like a little handle. But how, how, how expensive? Can we talk? How expensive does this look? Does this look like a $75 bag? No. Oh my gosh, Zach Posen is a genius, I swear. Go to The Real World. This is not sponsored, by the way, but I'm just letting you know. Go to The Real World, put in Zach Posen, and you're going to see. Oh, that's amazing. All right. So that's it. <laughs> I intended this video to be really short, but I ended up talking my way through it. Um, if you want to see more like this again, there are like three or four other brands that I really like, and I like their bags. Um, Kuralu is one. Um, Stowed. I have a Stowed bag in there. Um, I'm thinking about getting two more little stock bags, but there are some other brands that are under $500. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Like, subscribe to my channel and say, yes, Dion, give us more, give us more luxury for less and I will get that to you. Love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.